Hi everybody, welcome to Create with Ella. Today is Monday, November the 6th, uh, 2017, in case you're wondering what year we're in. And we're having a live show. I'm talking to people in the chat from all over the world. Uh, they can hear me, I can't hear them. If you are watching this on YouTube and we get to a point where it's rather boring, heaven forbid, or we, you know, you don't want to watch whatever, you can... Um, Fast forward and get to a better place for yourself, and it won't bother us at all. We probably all do that on um, other Ustream shows, but um, I do not edit my uh, Ustream shows. I don't have the patience for that. <laughs> I have a lot of patience, but not for editing. <laughs> so, first of all, I want to do some show and tell. Um, I signed up this year to um, make 100 cards to be distributed to, along with others, to be distributed to nursing homes all over the United States. Um, now, they do this in um, United States, Canada, and Australia. And so there's a clearing house, if you will, that you send them to depending upon where you want the cards to go, Australia, Canada, or United States. So I signed up to make a hundred and I've made my hundred and I'll be posting pictures this week of those cards. Um, and so I ask on my Facebook page if anyone would like to join me. So two of that I know of, two of my friends joined me and one's already mailed her cards off. She mailed them last Thursday. I'm mailing mine. Um, they got to be in Texas by the 17th. So I have to get mine in the mail by the 8th because I'm not going to be home this weekend. And um, it was a lot of fun. What kept it sane was um, I didn't make them very fancy. I made them pretty. I didn't make them fancy. I would say they're a C card. You know, your fancy cards are your A cards. The, you know, your your wow cards and then your B cards are your to me are your pretty cards and some people say well what's the difference between wow and pretty well wow is wow it's usually bigger it's usually a five by seven uh, pretty is um, pretty I don't know how else to explain it and it's usually an A2 you know a four and a quarter by five and a half and then you have your C cards which are pretty also but they're very simplistic so these uh, folks are in nursing homes, and we don't know anything about them. We were asked to make the cards and um, keep them to, you know, the season only, like don't do birthday, don't do anything else, just Christmas. And um, then put a sentiment inside and stamp uh, your name. If you want to put your last name, you can. And then the city and the state you live in. And so... Um, that's what I did, and like I said, I made a hundred of them, and what kept it sane was I made 30 of them on the Cricut, uh, 15, uh, 30 of them on the Cricut, and um, in two different colors, and then I made four other ones on the Cricut in one color, because it was going to take longer than I wanted to spend on it, so I only made four of those. And then another thing I did, which was a real fast technique. Okay, so this is the paper pack I used. I used this paper pack that I got from, I'm sorry about the glare. It's my lights. I, um, oops, sorry about the, I knocked the camera. I have, I'm going to have to get honey to adjust those. But this is the paper pack I used. It's um, Christmas Noel from uh, Michaels and it came with a washi tape pack that I don't see right now. I was working on these yesterday so I have them. Anyway, it came with a washi tape pack. And then the other Christmas um, well I mean didn't come with it. You know you had to buy it. The other one uh, I had this one from last year, and I just fell in love with it. Oh, here it is. And this was the washi tape that um, 
came with that. I didn't use a lot of washi tape on the cards, but I did use some. And then this year, I bought, uh, I got both of these. I got this one last year. Instead of $19.99, I got it for $5. And then this one was the same thing. I walked in there and they had this one, regular $19.99 for $5. And um, I got this washi tape to go with that. And I did use quite a bit of, I used more of this. So this is what I did to make the cards go faster. And when you see my um, post, you'll understand what I'm telling you. Okay, so the card, here's a piece of paper, for instance. And the cards are uh, four and a half by um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter is nine and a half. And then four and a quarter, I have to write it down because I'm not good at math. I have to look at it. So four and a quarter and four and a quarter is eight and a half. What did I say? Nine and a half? See, I told you guys I wasn't good at math. <laughs> four and a quarter, I need another pencil. Four and a quarter is eight and a half. And then four and a quarter is five seven twelve so what i did was that's your standard a2 card four and a quarter by five and a half well what i did was i cut them smaller and made them four does hey messy blogger <laughs> so glad you could join us i cut them at four instead of um four and a quarter and so that way I could do four, four. So I got, I got, um, and I cut them at four. I got three rows of four. Then I turned those strips and cut it five and a half. Does that make sense? So I got two, four, six cards out of this. And so I cut this. Here, I'll show you real quick. So I cut this at four instead of four and a quarter. Okay, so that's one cut, two cuts, three cuts. I use the same envelope though. You know, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I used the st standard A2 envelope. Then I cut this at five and a half. So there's three cards. And there's six, three more, so that's six. Then I kept these because you can always use these somewhere else. So I have my little bag of goodies. And then there was a cut apart sheet, right? So say this is the front of your card, and I do go around and ink it because I don't like the white showing. Um, you could go through and you could punch or you could, um, this was a cut of sheet. You could put this across there. You could cut this in half and put it down here. That was one. Um, let me see if there's something else. Oh, here, this was one of the cut aparts. These were two of the cut aparts that I, this is why I bought the paper pack, because I love poinsettias. Love, love, love poinsettias. And I like all poinsettias, but I love the red ones. Those are my favorites. I'm trying to get the camera to zoom up. Okay, so these were two cut aparts. So you could um, turn your card this way, and you could put this across here, up here. I usually would put it right there. Sometimes I put it down here, and then I did a die cut that said something like Merry Christmas, you know, or something big so that that space would be filled. For this one, sometimes I cut three, and I centered it like so. You know, you put it wherever you would like it. And again, you put a sentiment there. 
So I think one, two, three is one card. One, two, three is another card. One, two, three. So that's three cards right there. This is 12 inches long. If you did them like this, you could get three more cards. So there's your six cards. You got your trim right there. These are what I call your simple, pretty cards, right? Here's another thing um, that was part of the cut apart. You could put it down here, or what I did was I think I went this way. Mary in peace, or peace and believe. I just cut out two words. Or you could cut the words apart and stagger them going down. So that's one way to get a lot of bang for your buck. And um, it was it went fast. It went very fast. And you know, then they had the big cut aparts. Like here's a little Christmas tree. Here's season's greetings. Um, see, here's where I cut the words apart, you know, and I would do them on the page. So that went fast. Then the other thing I did was this one on this page, I did take a little more time to look at things like I wanted this Merry Christmas to be a focal point. So, um, because I have this, uh, trimmer, you know how uh, you can do the pinwheel on here because it has the wire in there uh, and you can see clearly, not necessarily the wire, but you can see real good on this one. I did um, like, you know, do four, come down four and go over, or I'd start here and go down because I wanted that to be the focal point. And then I'd come over here and make this one, Joy to the World, the focal point. And then I'd come down here, joy to the world. So like there's one, there's one, two, Merry Christmases. And there's one, two, uh, three, joy to the world. So, you know, this, this piece took a little longer. Like this I would cut across here so I could get that Merry Christmas, right? And then I would cut that at... Uh, let's see, if I cut it right there, that would be four. So, you know, this sheet took longer, but didn't take that long. But the papers in this pack were very pretty. Um, I still have a few left. I didn't use the plaid. Um... Let's see. I did use this on some of the cards. Turned out very pretty. There's a sheet I was telling you about. I didn't use this one. I didn't use this because I thought it was too busy. And there's some more plaid. I can use them for other things, though. I did use this sheet. I just cut. didn't use this part here. Here's a red, so I did some in red and some some of these in red and some in green. Um, this is beautiful, to, and you could frame this and put it in your house, which I may do. We got two of those. This was my favorite, and I cut this up for four by six. I used some of this. So here's a sheet, and what I did on this one was I made um, sure why well, I started with the bird. So I knew I wanted the bird to be, you know, a focal point. So I cut, measured, made sure I was going to get him in a cut, right? And then I just went four, 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 and then I went, you know, five and a half. Thanks. I'll be posting pictures later this week because I got to get them in the mail. So <clears throat> I made a hundred cards, Cindy. <laughs> and this pack from last year, I I fell in love with this last year. I didn't use any of this this year. Let's see. What did I use in here? Um, I can't remember. Oh, I used this. No, I didn't. These are different sheets. These I got from my local scrapbook store for 25 cents. They, they're last year's stock. And um, I think, wait a minute, before I tell a fib. Yeah. 
this was last year's stock and they had on clearance. I bought a couple sheets of this and this went real fast. Four, 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 five and a half, five and a half, bang, it was out, right? And look at this pretty sheet. This was easy to do too. So that's how I, if I have to make a big bunch of cards or if I, you know, like for this event, this thing, you know, that I said I would do, that's how I do it. You know, I prefer to go and get a paper pad. That way I don't have to think. And if they have washi tape or embellishments, then I try to get that. And, and then, you know, it all works and comes together, right? So I'm hoping that the lady will do it again next year. I'm thinking about going to some nursing homes here in Ventura County, contacting them and asking them if we could do it for the residents here. Um, because, you know, it's fun to stay in your, keep it in your neighborhood. I love sending them out, but it's also fun to keep it in your neighborhood. So then while I was getting ready to make these cards, I thought I had more Christmas dies. Now, as a lot of you know, I use my Cricut for a lot of things. And like I said, I did make uh, 35 cards with the Cricut. And that went really fast. But, um, oh, hi, Minky. <laughs> So um, anyway, I didn't. I thought I had more Christmas dies, and I didn't. Had a lot of Christmas stamps, didn't have many Christmas dies. So I went shopping, and um, I had quite a few embossing folders, but I also liked this one, so I bought this one. If you can see, it says. Santa, let's see, let me turn it this way. Here we go. Santa, tis the season, Merry Christmas, deck the halls, merry and bright. Cheer, peace and joy, merry ho, 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 Christmas and Noel. And um, I know, can you believe it? This is a, um, I don't know whose dye this is. I took it out the packaging. I think it's Echo Park. And then this is a Sizzix dye, because you know, I love poinsettias. I didn't have one of those. This is pretty on um, white paper and or either get uh, red paper with a white core um, and then, you know, slightly sand it or, or you could do white paper and then take uh, watercolor and color the poinsettias and the holly leaves. And then I got these from Penny Black because I like when I do my pictures or cards Sometimes I like, especially on cards, I don't want a, a straight edge. You know, I want it to have some, I don't know, character to it. So I got these. These are by Penny Black. They're called Antique Frame. And I did use these on my cards. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby. Have a jolly holly, have a holly jolly Christmas. It is a tree, a phrase tree. And there's another one that I'm going to be ordering, but isn't this pretty? Have a holly jolly Christmas. Da, 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 da. So that it that didn't come in in time enough for me to make the cards, but I'm ha I'm very happy with the cards and how they turned out. And then Penny Black, Merry Christmas, you know. And then this Spellbinders die. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to, to make a card or something with this. This is um, Holly and Poinsettia. Holly, I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's a frame. And this part is, let's see, this is the Poinsettia. This is the holly, and this is an outside ornate frame. So I'm looking forward to making something with this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you don't cut anything crooked. What's wrong with you? So that was my local shopping. And then this past weekend, um, I went with a friend to Scrapbook Expo in Ontario, Canada. And um, there were some other of my friends there also. And um, 
I did some shopping. So, um, my big purchase was, I don't know if you guys have seen the twist and pop dies, but when you close the card, it's an A2 card, and then when you open it up, there's this uh, piece right here, and then you close it down. And the what, reason they call it twist and pop is because the mechanism underneath here twists. And so I, they had samples. I had been looking at this die. I have made them without a die. And then I saw last month where someone had went on to Cricut Design Space and designed one. And <laughs> let me tell you, messy blogger, I would have loved for you to have been there. Um, and then I saw this die. And, you know, I love my Cricut, don't get me wrong. But sometimes I just want to pull out the die and do it, you know. And then sometimes I want to run the Cricut. So I love both of them equally. So anyway, they had this card made there. And down here... Now, this can be used for any card, not just the card I'm showing you. But this is a die that holds a gift card. And it has um, the fleur-de-lis and a heart and an oval. And they're showing it here with the fleur-de-lis holding the gift card. And the gift card, this piece would go down here, right? It would go right here and hold your gift card. And then this, these little guys would go where this pennant is, these little guys will go. So I wasn't crazy about the gin, the snowflake or the, uh, well, I wasn't crazy about the gingerbread. I would have liked for it to have Christmas trees and stuff, but hey, you can't be choosy. I could still make my own off the Cricut, but I thought he was, I thought they were cute. So we'll be playing with these on the um, show. So this was the card that sold me. See this card right here? Okay. Now, you don't get the critters. You have to buy the critters separate like this. Okay. They come separately. So this critter is not in this die. They have bears. They have penguins, a hedgehog, and something else. But you get the sleigh. You get the packages. And you get the bow. Um, and so see how they have that die right there, this die? That is this die. And when you um, look, pull it out, there's a gift card under there. And then this sleigh. And I just love it. So you can have it to, you can make this die two different ways. If you look, this one is the, the card is flat. I do too, messy blogger. Um, and the sleigh is standing up. This one, the card is standing up, and the sleigh is still, you know, you can put your packages and your a tree in there and stuff like that, and a little snow scene, but it's, the back of the sleigh is glued to the card, so I want to make them both way. Yeah, the critters come separately, but, um, you know, it was $25, but I thought it was well worth it for nine dies, and Karen Bernstein is the designer, and they're distributed by, um, I think she stills with uh, Sizzix. I don't know. I think she still designs for Sizzix. But anyway, these were my big purchases, okay? And then um, my friend, Elizabeth, um, her name is Els. We call her Els. But um, she uh, has a line of dies and I saw this one and I thought this was pretty with this script the dies not I mean it's you could take a piece of paper and emboss it and put this die on top of it and um, it would be very very pretty so I got that die and then I have never seen this is a Prima hardware uh, by Frank G Garcia resin frame I have never seen this size in any of the stores here locally. So I kind of now wish I had gotten two, but I can order them. And so I thought this was pretty. Um, there's several things I thought I could do with this. 
And then, oh, and I got Els makes these little ladybug dies, and I love ladybugs, red and black ladybugs. And then we, I like, I like heartfelt creations. Sometimes I, their cards are a little over the top for me, but sometimes they just hit the spot. So I had seen online on their YouTube channel these two cards, right? So here's a card, and then here's a little shadow box on top. And then this is just like a little shadow box. And you could also put this on a card if you wanted to. So you get, um, you get enough to create two five by five and two three and a quarter by four and a half shadow boxes. Like this is three and a quarter by four and a half, and this is five by five. And so you can put them on a card, which is what I'm going to do. And then um, I have an idea for this. So I have enough to make two, four, and I should have got one more package. But again, like I said, I can order it. <laughs> so um, I thought that was a good price, $5.99. Plus you got a 15% coupon off really uh, towards your next purchase with them. Oh, this was from my local store. I needed some twine and some ribbon. Okay, so we're still on um, Expo. Okay, and so then the last thing I got from Expo was there's a place um, called Shoestring Kits. And some friends of ours had been to the Expo earlier this year, somewhere, or last year. And they were in the store, the scrapbook store, and they were showing us these kits. And there were some of them that they had that we just thought was stinking cute. So we made a note to go by their um, booth. And oh my God, they had all kinds of kits. Oh my Lord. And so um, this is a little 6x6. Six six. They were sold out of the 12x12. 12 12, but I don't care. I can put it on my 12x12 uh, 12 12 page. And it says hitting the road. So I thought that was a real cute kit. And that one was $6. And then this one, the name of the store we scrapbook at is called Busy Bees Paper Crafting. And every month, as you guys have heard me tell you, I, um, I'm adjusting the camera. I'm sorry if I'm making you sick. Why is my camera doing that? There you go. Um, every month, the third weekend of every month, we get together, a group of us, and have a crop. So this one says, just being silly. And we celebrate the birthdays for that month. And so then um, we, she has an anniversary crop. And so I thought the pictures that I take of our group from that would be cute on this page. Everything you need is in there except your adhesive directions. And this kit was $15. And I thought that was a good price. I've, I've made kits, so I, I know, you know. And then this one, um, again, I love fall, I love autumn, I love the colors, and so I thought this was pretty. I have some pictures of um, um, pumpkin patch and pictures of the pretty trees, the uh, gum, sugar gum trees that turn colors here. I thought that would be pretty in there. Again, everything you need. Um, I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to use these leaves yet. I might cut some of my own with my dies and uh, this was 15 a die Connie is what you use with the big shot you use you put your paper down then your die make and you have plat you have uh, platforms run it through the big shot and it cuts that it cuts it out um, if you watch my shows um, from now to Christmas you'll see me making them uh, you'll see me using it, and I think I've even used it on some of my other shows. I'm not real sure. So I was real happy with my stash. The only thing that would have made it better if my sweet Cindy could have been there. Um, but these are my heartfelt creations. You can go on YouTube, and they have a zillion YouTubes, but you can also go on their website, and um, you'll see these cards, and then there's a YouTube where she shows you how she made these. But they're already scored for you and cut. So all you have to do is basically put them together and, you know, put your paper on them. They come in white, craft, and black. And I got craft because of the paper I'm going to be using to uh, make them. 
Okay, so tonight what we are going to do is make some Christmas cards. Now, several years ago, I did, found this lady. I don't even know where. I mean, I don't remember. Let's see. Did I write a date down? No. It was, thanks, Minky. Um, I don't remember how many years ago. I must say three or four. I discovered the One Sheet Wonder. So let me zoom in. And let me give you the link for this. these I'm going to make right here. Okay, so that's the link to these. So she gives you, this is this is what the cards look like or can look like, right? Well, I mean, if you don't want to put the ribbon is what I'm saying. You don't have to put the ribbon, but I put something on them. And so she gives you, you take one six by six piece of paper. She gives you the measurements. You cut, like say if this was your six by six piece of paper, you turn it and cut this way first. That was my first thing I had to learn. And um, so here's all the measurements. And she tells you this is for card one, card two, card three, card four, card five, and card six. And then there's one also. Let me see if this is by her. I didn't look this one up. Yeah, this is by her also. So this is for a six by six piece of paper where you would get six cards. Now, you need the six by six paper that you use. Um, should be a designer sheet, meaning it should have print on it. Then you're going to mat it. She does not give you the matting instructions, but what I do, as you see tonight, is I just lay it on the paper and cut. Um, I did one year on this one, try to figure out the measurements, and I did, but it took me a long time, so I don't do it that way anymore. So this is for a 8 by 8 sheet of paper, and you know, if you're saying an 8 by sheet, or six, just take your 12 by 12 and cut it down to 8 by 8 or 6 by 6, you know. So 8 by 8 makes 9 cards, and this is my favorite one to make right here. Both of these I enjoyed. This was the first one I made, then I made these. So I'm making these tonight, and um, that's what we're going to do. So let's get started. So the way I do it is I go through, and um, this made six cards. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, what happened? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I take my six envelopes, and I put a number in there like see here's number one let me zoom in some more okay see there's number one number three and I erase it before I get rid of the card okay thank you for the link Jennifer and so then when I'm cutting I just put my pieces in here Ta -da! like that and then I set my envelopes over here and I do all my cutting first of my designer piece that I need to cut out. I, so I've already done this part. We don't need to do that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to find my um, distressing. Just a second. So this weekend, I'm going to a three-day retreat with some of my scrapping buddies. I'm going. It's a Friday, Saturday. Oops, excuse me. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then next weekend, the 17th, is our monthly crop. So I already know what projects I'm gonna work on, and I've started gathering my supplies so that I don't forget anything, and I don't, you know. Um, run out it's not far from my house so if i did forget something i could come back be no problem but um 
you know how it is. You really don't want to uh, have to do that. Yep, Jennifer's doing great with the links. So, so here's the first piece and the first card. My bone folder. Oh, that smells. Oh, you don't. Oh, meatball sounds good to me. This card is going. The orientation is going to be portrait. So it's going to go like this. Now here's all my scraps. Um, I'm trying to think. Hold on just a minute. Let me see something. See Daisy. No, you don't want to do that. Okay, hold on, guys. I just want to look at something real quick. There's a piece of paper. I'm pulling some scraps out. So one thing you can do is, oh, the orientation for that's not right. Can't use that. Sorry. So what I did was I got some coordinating red, some colors that would go with what was in here. And so now what I'm going to do, let me move this aside. Get my paper trimmer. I know this this uh, retreat is only once a year, and it's really hard to get into because um, she only has like 25 people, and so I was lucky enough to get in this year. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mat this on the red, and then I'm gonna mat that on the green. Okay. It just goes faster. When you're making a lot of cards, you have to think about these things. You know, I mean, you get I get all these grandiose ideas, and then it's like, well, how long is that going to take you to make that card? Because you're making a hundred. And the thing when you're making a bulk group of cards is to, unless you want to make a hundred of the same kind, but after 20, I was getting bored of that design. So I broke it into 20. Okay, so now I'm going to just cut this so it'll be matte. 20 of this, 20 of that, 15 of this, 15 of that. Okay, so that's matted. So now, oops, oops, am I getting ready to run out? I might be. Oh. And then I just lay this down and I just keep me a little pile of scraps over here I put my reference sheet up there I just keep a little pile of scraps over here Okay, so now we have this. So this card base is four by 
five and a half. These are the ones I bought from the um, store. I didn't make them. So I'm going to cut that down. And five and a half. Okay. Get a tape refill just a second. So make sure I have one right next to me. Make... Oops, oh, it's empty. So have you guys started any projects or any uh, for the holidays? Now I'm just going to lightly put this down here like this because I might change my mind and want to do something with that. I'm going to move these because I'm not going to be using them. And I had some little things sitting over here. Okay, so then I'm going to take this washi tape, and here's red, and I'm going to use some gold. So that's why I didn't want to stick that down yet. So I'm going to put the red. Oops, where am I at? Oops, my little thing fell down. Where they're showing ribbon, I'm going to put washi tape. Because I'm making these into um, simple cards. You're pretending Christmas isn't as close as it is? Yeah, well, good luck with that button. <laughs> it's coming, honey. I've got my I've got my girlfriend's shopping done. Sort of, except one. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm using a non-stick mat. So I'm going to turn that under. And then I'm just going to rub that off so it doesn't get stuck on my card. Okay. Now, if I were making these to give to uh, someone I personally knew, I would be using ribbon and I would be using pop dots. So see this card's a little longer, a little taller, so I'm just going to trim that off. There we go. Okay. And then we take this. And we put this here. And then I found, I had a bunch of, I also do iris folding, and I have a bunch of what they call peel-off stickers, and so I'm using those also. Now here's a peel-off sticker, and it's in silver. I don't want it in silver, I want it in red. So... I colored it, I'm looking for my tweezers, with a red um, magic marker. As long as it's, you know, something that is permanent, you can do that. So 
So I'm going to lift that off. Put that back down. And then I'm going to put this here. And you don't want to do what I'm doing, which is stretching it. <laughs> I hope it didn't stretch it too much. Might have. I did. Okay, let me get my red magic marker and try that again. Here's red. So I want it to be red, so I'm just going to color it in red. Like so. Then I take my tweezers and I lift it off. That's been coming off lately. That's different. Okay. Huh. And lay that down there. And then on those other stickers, there's some little stars that are gold. So I take and put those there, like so. And then I had, I had a bag full of these poinsettias that I thought were pretty and uh, greenery. So I've used up quite a bit of that. And then I take my clear Wink of Stella and I go over the poinsettia leaves. And then on the ends, I get all the cards made, then I go back and I stamp them one by each one of them. So there's our first card. I noticed the camera's not angled right. Okay. So this is our first card. See from the Wink of Stella, all the shimmer in the poinsettia. Okay, so now let's move on to card number two. Okie dokie. Oh, and then I take it, sorry, and I put it back in here like this. I keep it with its envelope. I don't put my decorations up until the 15th. Cindy Jenkins, a.k.a. Messy Blogger, probably has hers. No, she puts hers up on Thanksgiving Day. That's right. So, take our card. And the orientation on this one is this way. I'm working too low. Oh, I thought I had fixed it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm working too low. There, is that better? I thought I'd fixed it. Thank you. Yeah, it was quick, wasn't it? Okay, so now 
We're going to look in here. I pulled some pieces out. Nope, that's not quite big enough. So here's another piece that would work. Okay. And again, I think this is four. The reason it's hard for me to remember this is um, they're not the standard A2 card. Five and a half by four. Okay. I figured you still had Halloween up. Okay, and then how's that? Nope, that's too big. So we've got to make that four. By five and a half. Okay, we're good. So at the retreat this weekend, I'm working on um, Christmas card projects, my own personal friends' Christmas cards. And then I'm also participating in a um, swap at the scrapbook store. The name of it is um, My Christmas, Fa uh, Christmas Favorites. And there's eight of us, and we're using an 8 by 8 album. And um, you make a two-page spread of your Christmas favorite that you chose for the swap. And I chose decorations. And my decorations are these beautiful white angels with red tips that my mother's best friend made for me. And so I'm going to be working on that this weekend, along with some Christmas pro card projects. So maybe next time I stream, I'll have that to show you. Well, I know it will because um, we got to have them to the store by the 17th, and I stream again on the 20th. So I want to do the same thing. I want to take the red. See, don't don't overthink this thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that sounds so sweet, Joan. Okay. And then we'll do this. You see, normally where I'm putting the washi, I would be putting ribbon. But... For this, I think the washi is very pretty. And then this goes on red. Yeah, there if um, if you follow me on Pinterest, I have my own one sheet wonder board where I have pinned a lot of one sheet wonders that I like. And some of them I've made, some of them I haven't. But you can't go wrong with one sheet wonders. I mean, I could have done the whole hundred cards in one sheet wonders. So you can't really go wrong with that. Well, let me move this over some. Oops, wrong way. There. But taking a 12 by 12 piece of paper and just making your card a four by four, you know, instead of four and a quarter, make it a four, you can get six cards out of that. I mean, that's pretty good. And then this is going to go on here. cut this down so I'm just trimming over here to the side 
nothing, you know, earth shattering. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to put, and then that one goes like that. So now we need to find some little thing, some little um, thing to go right in here. And I had these in my stash. Let's see how these look. These I think I got from Hobby Lobby. Now I have a um, sticker, peel off. It says season's greetings and it'll go right here. So put some adhesive. My tweezers. And I'm going to leave this gold so it'll show up pretty. And I fold them back. See how I'm folding it back? It really helps with getting them off. Don't stretch them too much. I try to do it all with the tweezers because they get stuck on your fingers and then they get all stretched out and twisted on one another. You might see my head here for a few minutes, my little raccoon stripe. I'm trying to get the center of the A out. Okay, that's good. Come on, why are you fighting me? I'm thinking, you guys. That's why I'm being real quiet. I'm not looking at the chat right now. I don't know why this piece doesn't want to come out. See, if I was sitting here by myself, it wouldn't be fighting me. It's only doing it because I'm here with you guys. Oh, this never happens to me. <laughs> I don't have patience for that. Okay, let's try again. Now that one's too big. So we got to do this one. Okay. Try again. Did 
the other day I did this and they came off with no problem. Today, they're not going to do it just because. Okay, so this is going to go here. And this is going to go here. Except that's crooked. Can't have crooked. My camera just looks kind of blurry to me. There. Doesn't look as sharp. Wonder why that is. Let me see if I can fix it. Maybe it's just the glare from the lights. Let me see. I'm messing with the camera, so don't mess with you guys' stuff. Whoops. Oh. You do? I usually don't have a problem with them. I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me. Like I say, maybe it's the lights. Okay, so then that's card number two. So now he has his little envelope, and I put them with the flap on the inside. Now card number three. Card number three is one that probably takes the longest, but it's so pretty, it doesn't matter. Usually the peel-offs come right off for me. Um, I don't, you know, have that much problem with them. Once in a while you get one, like I just did, that gives you a fit. But just keep trucking. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, probably get rid of that foam pad soon. Okay, so this one... We have to do all of these first. We have to mat these first. And we're going to mat them in um, the red and then the green. Yeah. And I'm just eyeballing it. I don't measure on this kind of stuff. Okay. Now 
Now again, I'm just going to trim them, so I'm doing that off camera. And then we'll go madam on red. I mean green. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, if um if you have problems with your hands, it is harder to get them off. I wanted to use them because I have quite a few of them and I also wanted to use them because I figured it would be quicker. But when I work, I tend to work in assembly line when I have these big, you know, projects I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take it over here and trim it. So this one was a little bigger than I wanted, so I'm just going to use my scissors to trim this down. And you could use scissors to trim it all the way down if you wanted to. You wouldn't need to use your um, what am I trying to say? Trimmer. <laughs> okay, so now we need a piece of red um, I'm drawing a blank. We need a piece of red uh, for these to go on and green. So first we got to do the red. And see they're going to go like this that we need to cut that down. So I think we need to cut that to two and a quarter. By, let me see. Actually, that one goes on top like that by four. But I'm going to cut it to five. And then um, I'm going to punch this down here. No. Yes. Let me get my punch. And I'm using the Martha Stewart punch. Boy, that light, I'm going to have to get Greg to fix that. 
Oaks, Pine Burr, Pine Bore, Bow, and I'm going to put it just right there in the middle. And then what you do is see where this is. Well, you want this to go on top of here. You want to place it right on top. Let's do it off this side. So that you don't see the white underneath. See how this is laying right on top and you don't see the white? Then you punch. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. And we punch. Oh, that didn't turn out right. What the heyday? Okay, what did I say? Two and a half. Let's try it again. Two and a half by five. So let's cut five. Two and a half. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go way over here. There you go. And then we're going to cut this piece off. Like that. Gosh, it's five, but not even 5.30. It's already dark. Those are my favorite punches. I really wish she had not um, stopped selling them, making them, whatever. Okay, so this is going to go like this. And this goes in the middle. So we can make this a little thinner. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. Okay, I trimmed it to two and a quarter. So you're going to touch those two together, and then this one sits on top like that. Okay. There you go. There we go, and then we'll trim some of that off at the top. So it doesn't need to be that long. Okay, and then I don't have another piece of that green. I don't think I do. Okay, so we're going to match. Oh, thank you, Misty Blogger. Now I did that because if when you do that, sometimes you can catch the insides of those leaves. Because if you try to um, do them pine needles, you could end up tearing them. So then I put this on here. Oops, wait a minute. I'm gonna cut this little piece off down here. See this little snippet thing? Okay. So now, I'll do that. Now I'm going to take it over to my trimmer and trim it. Okay, 
So it looks like that. And then we need to find a piece to go under there. I think that's pretty. Is that piece wide enough? No, but I'll fix that. See, the thing about the One Sheet Wonder, you can also um, add some little, you know, things to it. And by that, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Thank you, Dorothy. I love making cards. <laughs> so I'm going to take this and I'll lay this down here. And then I'm going to take a pretty piece of this gold foil of uh, washi tape, foil washi tape. Now this isn't in the One Sheet Wonder, but I'm going to put it on there. How's that? See how that just changes the whole card? And I forgot to fold. I want to fold that under. No, I don't. I don't want to fold it under. So let's get that down real good. That piece of paper is driving me crazy. <laughs> okay. So now I see we're going to put this on top of here like that. Or does it goes like this, and then I have this small um, peel off sticker. See, look how pretty that one came off, and we'll put Mary. Oops. Oh, baby. There we go. There. So I'll put Mary here. I know. Can you believe that, Cindy? Is, is he barking? Because Oh, he's barking because he hears this maniac next door barking. And then I'm going to put Christmas right here. Now what you could do is take the Wink of Stella and you could highlight these red berries and here too. Okay, now I gotta decide if I'm gonna put something down there.
Okay, so let me put this down. So I'm not going to put anything on the side. I'm just going to put this down right here. And they're not being mailed. They're going to hand deliver them to the facility, the nursing home. Oopsie daisy. I want to see if I like this. These are really old, these, but that's okay. They still work. I don't know if I like it with three. I think I like it with just one. Maybe I can get this up without tearing the paper underneath. Yep. So there's our second card. Actually, that's our third card. Okay, then card number four. And if you keep it in the same color family, it goes really fast. Okay, so now again, here we go. We're going to match in red. Yeah, I got these at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And they're just, that's all I have left of them. Okay, I'm going to trim it. I'm throw this sponge away after class. See how it's flaking off? It means it's old. I need to get rid of it. Okay. Now we're going to do it in green. So see how I've already, oops, can't use that. I thought I could. I can use it this way. I've already got a cut there, but I'm not going to use that. Never mind. Ignore what I was going to say. This one just a tad crooked. Okay, trim it up. Thank you. 
okay now this one um, goes like that on the card and it's it's a portrait style so does it go like that or does it go like that I think it goes like that okay so let me look in here at my scraps I'm just looking at my scraps real quick. That's pretty. I think I have another sheet of that somewhere. Does this sit back here? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to cut this to four by five and a half. And the reason I'm distressing is I don't like the white core to show. Hi, Allie. Hi, everybody that, if I missed you, that's here with us tonight. Now over here, I'm going to take a piece of let me see. I want to use this. Yeah, but first I want to take this up. Yes, we are. I signed up for um, to make Christmas cards for nursing homes. And this is the last few I have to make. I made 100. We were asked to make 100. Nope, I don't like it like that. And um, these are my last little few I've got left to make. I'm going to trim this up here, make it even because it's not. Okay. 
know about it. There you go. These go like this. I have some of these Martha Stewart Robins. I don't think she makes these anymore either. Maybe. Okay, so let's put these down. I don't think there I don't think there's a green one looking the other way. No, but there's a red one looking the other way. So if I put the red one here and the green one Oh yeah, there. True. Very true. Now, what is that big stick one I had that said? Um, not this one. This is a little one. This is a little one. Little one, little one. Oh, I had a great big one. Huh. I'm probably looking right at it. I just don't see it. weird. Huh. I'm looking for a sticker sheet that had some greetings on it and it had a real big one. Not, you know, too big, but It's crazy. Oh well, it'll show up. We'll go on to the next card. That bugs me. Bugs me very much. Well, I'll use this one. This is pretty. I do too. And I only got like five of those left. Because, you know, like I said, she's not making those anymore. OK, 
okay. There's card number four. Okay, now card number five. Thanks. I think they're pretty too. So my favorite Christmas pack of all the new stuff this year is Graphic 45 Winter Wonderland. That's my favorite one. And it's the one that I am making my um, Christmas uh, for my, my uh, close friends. I'm making their Christmas cards out of that pack, and I'm making some little decor pieces out of that pack. I bought the whole collection. I just fell in love with it. It was between that one and Kaiser Craft. I had a very similar one, but Graphic 45 sold me with those points that he is. Um, they're beautiful. I love the color. I'm being kind of anal here. I shouldn't do that. I love the color in them. I just love the tone, the color um, of the whole collection. It's, you know, it's not uh, in your face. It's just the, the hues are just gorgeous. So, do you guys have a favorite Christmas collection pack this year? Do you make your Christmas cards or do you buy them? Now this this card I'm cheating because you're supposed to mat these individually, but I'm not going to do that. I'm ready to be finished with these cards. <laughs> I need a bigger piece of that. And I don't think anyone will all be the different. Oh, okay. You stink. You do not stink at cards. Listen to you. Okay, now this one is portrait style also. She does not stink at cards. Don't let her tell you that. <laughs> okay, so this one goes like this. And we need something to put in the middle. That's too much green. La 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 la. Okay. Hold on just a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to step over here.
Be right there, guys. I'm just looking for something real quick. Oh. <laughs> I'll mess with the camera one more time. We're almost done. I hope I'm not making anyone sick. Okay. That's nice that you make them off of uh, CD-ROMs. Nope, that's too big. Nah, that looks kind of funny with that green, different color green. Nope. Just a little something. Nope, the red's different. I know, see, I'm getting to the end of what I wanted to use up, and um, see, here are some of those cut aparts. Set Believe doesn't speak Christmas to me. Still need something to go in the center, right? There, like right in there. Thank you. I think I'm going to put this bird here. I'm going to put that down there. And now I just need to find the um, background paper. I had a lot more and I got rid of it. I sent some to Cindy and I sent some to some other people because I'll use a collection for two years and then I'm, I'm tired. I'm not tired of it, but I don't want to use it anymore. I want something new. So I let uh, give it to other people and let them love on it. I know 
I think he's cute on there, huh? Got one more card after this one. We did pretty good. We made six cards. Okay, number six, five. One more, and we're done. And this is number six. And this one little piece. Joan's going to go get her some birds. And I'm going to trim this up. Um, not for the family because we have to mail everything and so we just use you know stick peel off tags or um, but for um, people locally that we give to uh, I make them you know I don't do anything real fancy you know because nine times out of ten, they throw it away. <laughs> we used to put bows on them and everything when we'd send our families, but we quit because, you know, they get squashed no matter how well you try and pack them and now everybody's to the age where they really don't care about the package. <laughs> Sad to say, but. I mean, we still make it pretty and everything, don't get me wrong, but we would make it prettier if we could give them to them in person. Does that make sense? This is our last card. That sounds nice, Dorothy. Just going to trim this little bit off right here. And then this is supposed to go here. And you know I'm kind of loving those birds. So I think I'm going to put 
see if I can get two on there. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I got one bird left. I'll have to find him a home. Okay, so now I need a little greeting to go under there. I wish I could find that other big thing of stickers. It was perfect. Oh, I got two birds left. Look, right here in front of my face the whole time. La! Okay. So I'm just going to peel this back. Like so. There you go. So that's all our cards. We made six cards in one hour, well, less than an hour because we had show and tell at the beginning. So let me just clean up a little bit and we'll put all our cards out. Thank you, Minky. Okay. Put this in the trash can. So thank you guys for joining me tonight and hanging out with me while I finished my cards. And let me zoom out here. Oops. Ha. Hi. Oh, come on. There. I think the birds really added a good touch.
Oh, thank you, Jennifer, for being on top of the links. Let me give you the link for the um, One Sheet Wonder. And this is the 6x6, six six, and then the 8x8 eight eight makes 9 cards. Um... I know they turned out real pretty, didn't they? I, I'm glad I found a home for the birds. I'm glad I found a home for the birds. Okay, guys. Well, I'll see you in two weeks if all goes well. <laughs> I hope you guys have a good week and a good weekend. Messy blogger, we need to talk. I know you're busy with school and everything. And the, and the munchkins. So you guys have a great week. And um, I'll see you uh, on the other streams. And I'll see you uh, around. Okay, bye guys. Thank you.